way to get like background music to that the whole lounge singer nice Jesus christ i hate all of you i just hate Cal all of calamity you. campaign <laughs> the musical there we go <laughs> folks welcome aboard it's saturday night you know what that means uh well maybe you do maybe you don't if you've been here before you know what it means it means calamity night is here uh if you're a first time viewer Welcome aboard. Uh, hang on for two hours of dipshittery. Uh, you had to press that you were of mature audiences and you got warned before you logged in. So anything after this is on you, not me. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. If you want to buy some cool stuff like a phone case or a duvet cover, no shit, or a towel, or maybe even a notebook, check out our swag shop that's listed somewhere on this screen. Uh, most importantly, if you want to join us on the talk shows on Tuesday or next week, Saturday, for the one shot, I believe we've got two more new Murder Hobos playing, uh, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. Hit us up. We will get you on the show. Uh, we'd like to give a shout out to our sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice, uh, who make customized dice. So if you want some customized dice that are cool and roll weirdly high, uh, <laughs> at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. Uh, also, if your game stinks, unlike ours, more like Kyle's game. Kyle's game always stinks. Uh, lighten it up with some adventure sense from oddfishgames.com. It will make any game that stinks smell a whole lot better unless you get putrid sewers and throw up in the trash can. Like Kyle did. <laughs> uh, they also make the shine system, which is how to make your writing much more betterish, kind of, kind of better, better than me, more gooder than me. <laughs> uh, their uh, how to sure. RPG with a cat is about to go Kickstarter. We will let you know when that happens, folks. As I said, this is the calamity campaign. This is the A side. We have A and B uh tonight we got the a side going in these guys are picking up where they left off but first let's introduce you to who they are we can start with rob rob who are you who do you play hi i'm rob and i play dave on the calamity <laughs> campaign and cup on the calamity b campaign and assorted irregular uh, in player characters on our one shots um that's about all uh i guess Way to keep it short. Not quite Haggis <laughs> crap stain short, but <laughs> short enough. Scott, you are up next. Same questions, different answers. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Scott. I play Dave, a, um, a human, but no, I'm just kidding. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Another I'm, one. Uh, Scott, I play, uh, Dave? I play, I'm playing, I'm playing Rakir, uh, a uh, monk um, who is uh, very, um, I, he's he's just a kiss ass, and uh, he wants people to like him. Um, total brown noser all the time, but a little bit obsessed, uh, yeah, obsessed with himself, I can't clean and that off. obsessed with money, <laughs> and um, starting to have a passing curiosity on uh, how things die. Um, that's uh, that's what I'm thinking. Right now. You're gonna go that way, yes. and, and and the whole yes. vampire thing, I think. Yeah, that, that was that whole thing about how death happens and it doesn't really happen. But As does it really happen? It does. I guess you got to find out. <laughs> deep, deep thoughts by Rakir. Next up is David. David, who are you? Who are you playing? Hi, I'm David. You can find me most Tuesdays on Between the Rolls. I also play Zadar in our opposite Thursday uh kind of soap opera-ish adventure. I uh, also play on the B Squad uh, for the Calamity campaign. And tonight for the A Team, I play Ingve, Ingve the Ravenkin, the Druid. And yeah, that's me, folks. Last but certainly not least, Jesse. Jesse, same questions. Uh, hello, I am Jesse. I am on the Calamity, obviously, uh, or the I'm on a campaign. I play D and D. I Something. do words, and I'm an American. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I play the uh, Leonid Ranger Azari uh, on the A team, and uh, the lovable uh, dwarf from Down Under Cup or Coda. God, I can't even. I have players, and I play games, and I gotta stop drinking during the day. 
<laughs> America. <Me>. No, don't. <laughs> no. Drink more. America. 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 There's no A there. Folks, like I said, America. this is the Calamity Fuck Campaign. Yeah. <laughs> Going to save my world, yeah. Scott's from Texas, so, you know. <laughs> he knows all about America. America. Uh, uh, folks, this is the Calamity Campaign. These guys grew up in the small town of Ba. They have proven themselves on the great hunt. They've had a run-in with a fellow neighborish kind of person named Doff. Uh, Doff has since returned. Uh, a group of brigands have stolen a lot of their neighbors, friends, and some of their family members, as well as killed other family members. Uh, and these four have been assigned to hunt down the brigands and recapture their friends, neighbors, and countrymen. Uh, last time, they wandered through the tar pits and noticed tracks of an unusual size, uh, T-R-U-S-S's, uh, but they did manage to recover two different groups of their friends, neighbors, and countrymen, uh, including uh, Dave's aunt. So Rakir, being an orphan, doesn't give two shits about any loved ones here. Uh, Azari is still missing his sister, and Ingve is still missing his father after his mother was unmercifully killed. Now, FYI, I did roll before these guys ever got their job assignments. Uh, uh, Rakir was eliminated because he had no loved ones and nobody loves him. Uh, the <laughs> other three all had individuals removed and their fates have been sealed for several weeks. Uh, Dave's aunt survived. Uh, tonight, do we see Ingve's father or Azari's Sister, who knows? Uh, but you know what? Let's get right to it. <laughs> Last time, uh, they got out of the tar pits at night and were attacked by frog like creatures uh, who uttered the word grung as they uh, passed on to the nether life. These guys have since rusted uh, ish in kind of a swampy condition. So they are full on hit points. And as the sun starts to rise over the moss encrusted trees here. Everybody give me a perception check. <clears throat> 11. Nice. Dave sleepy. <laughs> 25. Uh, eight. Yeah, in base too. <laughs> 11, 8, 9, and 25. Good news, Azari. You notice something waving on a mossy tree branch. Hmm. I'll go check it out. It appears to be a piece of cloth from your homeland. Bah. Uh, it appears as though somebody may be leaving a trail. I'll go uh, back to everyone. There is a piece of cloth up on the land. They're leaving a trail. We should follow. A good recap. recap. <laughs> <laughs> Man, a few words. <laughs> that sounds very familiar. Uh, after he gives that to You're you, so smart. Everybody, roll uh, investigation. See where. See if you can follow the trail. Minus two. 17. Uh, 13. Two. Three. <laughs> Rakir and Azari are in a deep conversation about how intelligent Azari is. As the ass kissing continues, <laughs> Dave the Barbarian spots another fluttering piece of cloth. Uh, it did rain last night, so any tracks in this swamp-like environment not a gonna be there. Uh, but Dave has come through and spotted some more uh, cloth. Hey, can you mute your mic, hon? What you want to do? Look, more cloth. Keep going. Yeah, pursuit. Very good. Uh, everybody give me another perception check, please, as you wander through finding more. Oh, that's pieces more of like cloth. it. 25. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, 15. 
for 20, AK. 26. Uh, Rakir, you are using a D20, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Just just yes. wanted to double check. Yeah, uh, I'm using I'm using the D and D Beyond dice dice mechanic because I'm traveling. I don't have my actual physical, so I'm. It's, you, know. <laughs> you are so screwed tonight. Uh, I don't Beyond know. Therapy. Sometimes that dice roller is hot, man. Depending on the algorithm. So. Uh, I'm sorry, to Jim, Scott. Yeah, he has a uh, total twenty yet on four rolls. So. <laughs> uh, as you guys keep collecting the cloth, uh, Rock here despite his impeccable roles, uh, recognizes the cloth as one of the priests of uh, Elon. Mm. Because he's been kissing their ass for quite some time. Uh, right. And you realize that several of the uh, clerics... I know this spell. Wow. Uh, this is one of the priest robes. <laughs> Mm. It's the back. So <laughs> many jokes. It's the back of the robe. <laughs> uh, so many uh, questions have been answered at this moment. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, but it was well worth the Hershey bar and the pat on the head, Father. Uh, Dave. <laughs> Dave, your role was high enough. You hear some kind of disturbance up ahead. Well. Something's going on, and then I'll run towards the disturbance. Uh, you notice two things as you charge forward. One, the sound of a water moving. <clears throat> the other, the sound of groaning as if someone is being tortured to death. Anybody going to follow Dave or let him handle this problem himself? Uh, Dave's got it. Dave got this! <laughs> no, I'll follow. I will follow I'll Dave. Follow. <laughs> yeah. Somebody want to tap Rakir on the shoulder and let him know what we're doing? <laughs> uh, Rakir, when you're finished uh, huffing the, <coughs> the robe, just... let's go. <laughs> uh, Dave, you will get to roll. Everybody roll initiative, but only Dave's going to react in this round. Okay. 17. 17. 21. 13. Better that time. Did you say 13, Rakir? 21. Oh, very nice. 13 for Azari. Uh, okay, got him confused. <clears throat> okay, first round, Dave, as you break into a small clearing, uh, you see a series of those frog-like humanoids. You also see three uh, bodies. Uh, see, uh, give me a wisdom check. Uh, uh -huh. so throw a wisdom check to see if you recognize. Uh, 12. Uh, no. You notice that two are foreigners and one is a member of Ba. <clears throat> the member of Ba is apparently the only one alive. The other two are on the deck uh, bleeding out profusely. There are a total of five, not six, uh, of these frog-like creatures. Dave, uh, D12 against me. Sure. Eight. I also have eight. Reroll. That's a 12. That's a five. Uh, they do not realize you have broken through. Uh, so I'm going to give you a free attack this round. <laughs> uh, does a 19 hit? Easily. Good. I'm not mad yet. So um, uh, that's going to be 15 points of slashing damage from my great axe. And then uh, I will yell, squish, and uh, rage. You will kill one of them. Let me just check. Two purple so far. A green. And a blue. Uh, as the rest of you come into the clearing, you also notice two bodies on the deck uh, appear to be bleeding out. One individual tied to a tree, head slumped down, uh, not doing well at all. And now four of the frog-like creatures, one of them is missing a head. Uh, new round. Uh, we will start with the 21 Rakir. So yeah, um, what, what's our what's our distance to these creatures right now? 
Uh, since you guys were all running after Dave, you may be in melee range or you may stop short and be in missile range. I will give you guys each the opportunity. These guys are a little bit sluggish and they're going to last in the round. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm going to I'm going to close the melee range and um, swing both hands with my with my quarter staff on the on the on the nearest one. Purple, purple, green, blue. Or I'll roll. Do you have a preference or do you want me to roll? No, you you can roll. You're going after number three, the green one. Okay. Go ahead. That's gonna be a 13. That hits. Yep. That will do six points of bludgeoning damage. Fair enough. Next up are the pair of 17s. Ooh. Da Dave and Ingve. Ingve? Mm hmm. Uh, Ingve is just going to slam his staff down and cast uh, Healing Word. Uh, it has a range of 60 feet to see if he can try to get the, the two on the ground that are bleeding out. Sure. And if any of us has taken damage too. So um, just to roll it for healing word, uh, they're going to get a total of eight points of healing. Okay. Nice. Nice job. Uh, 17, Dave. Dave, smash, squish. Uh, that's a 19 to hit. Uh, do you have a preference or shall I roll? Whatever you like. I'm raging. Deuce, purple. Nine plus four is 11, 12 point. What is it? No, nine plus four is 13, dumbass. Uh, yeah, 13 points, slashing damage. Fair enough. Uh, oh, sorry, 15 with rage. Uh, got it. Last but not least, Azari. Okay, I'll go after, uh, I'll pull up short so I can use my bow since I gave uh, my swords to the other guys. So I hit one of the purple ones. Okay. Uh, that's it. 18 to hit. Hits. Uh, seven points of piercing damage. Nice. Uh, of the two dying on the ground that are dying no longer, uh, odd even. Odd even. Uh, one of them jumps up and runs into the underbrush. Uh, the other one grabs a nearby sword. Uh, they are both human. Uh, for the purple on Azari. 15 plus 4, 19. Hell yeah. 4 plus 2, 6 damage. Mm. And give me a con save as this blade appears to be dripping with a green ichor. Oh, that's a 10? Uh, that i got into your system. Add six more poison Jeez. damage as you're feeling the effects. Uh, next up is Dave in his purple. Are you reckless or just raging? Just raging. Oh, that's an at one. He will fall at your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Much like uh, Rock here and the priests. Uh, <laughs> Rakir is green. <laughs> 12 plus 4, 16, Rakir. <clears throat> okay. Uh, give me a con save. Ooh, you take six hit points as well, slashing. Uh, six on my... Wait, is that save or check? Uh, save. Okay. Uh, it probably doesn't probably doesn't matter because I don't have it. I don't have proficiency on it, so it's the same. Yeah, yeah. Only three poison damage. Six slashing, three poison. Uh, Ingve D twelve against me. Four. Uh, nine. You have a friend. Uh, however, first odd even your odd. Mm -hmm. 
Even uh, the remaining blue one for Ingve goes after the newly refreshed human. And this is, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, 10 hits because this guy doesn't have armor. Uh, does he make his save? <laughs> With a two, he does not make his save. And he's down again. Oh. <laughs> uh, before he can attack. Okay. Top of the order, Rock here. Uh, combat is waged. There's a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of poison. It's like everybody ate it. Chilies. <laughs> <laughs> Chilies, if you want to be our sponsor, I'll change We're it open. to something else. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, I'm going to continue swinging the quarter staff at the one in front of me. Sure. Yeah, that misses. How badly? Well, it uh, it was a uh, dirty six, and I have a plus five. So that's a one. Wow. Yes. You know what? <laughs> what is that stupid ass home rule we have? That's right. Roll a D10, one, two, Dave, three, four, you, five, six, Ingve, seven, eight, Azaria, and oh, no, they're the other guy's down. Just roll a D4. Uh, I, I already rolled the D10. I rolled a seven, so I don't know what that does. I, I, I'll, I'll roll a D4. Sorry. Ingve. Oh, I'm sorry. That's me? Oh, sorry. No, no not yet, because oh, the other okay. guy's down. One. Uh, you hit Dave. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh, do your damage and then cut it in half. Folks at home, uh, home rule, if you roll a one, you hit your buddy or you lose your weapon. Cut it in half, so four? Four bludgeoning? Okay, Ouch. so I'll take two bludgeoning. Because you are raging. Raging Cajun. Uh, Dave, do Dave, not notice. Dave and Inve, you're up. It's like you just slapped you on the ass, Dave, to get you fighting harder. You got this, but you, you this got big this. guy. <laughs> Any possibility I can grab this grung at my feet and smash it into the next one? Sure. Hit it first. Oh, you're going to touch a grung? Natural 20. Nicely done. Uh, now make your constitution save. Oh, sure. Uh, 16 plus 3 is uh, 19. Sure, yeah. Uh, you are not affected by their toxic flesh. Question, though, who, who's are you going to try and hit? Rock here, and well, everybody's got one. Nobody's dead yet. Uh, yeah, sure. Whatever's to my left, that'd probably be like Rock here's, I guess. Uh, to your left is five Azari. Okay, I'll take Azari's and smash it with mine. So your critical failure now increases to one or two because this is like throwing lumber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so go ahead and hit Azari's. Uh, 16. You hit Azari's. Uh, roll d6 for bludgeoning for both. Uh, that's a six. Very good. My murder hobo six. Happy little people dancing. <laughs> uh, Dave, yours uh, skids off Azari's opponent and hits a tree, smattering his head. <laughs> Squish! Uh, Azari, yours is not doing so hot as it's <laughs> like that. Uh, Ingve, you're up. Uh, Ingve, for his bonus action, is going to summon uh, the spirit of a raven. And uh, it's going to. Uh, heal for five rounds uh, and for this round uh, it heals everybody for four hit points cool now you are you are not in range of the individual hanging off the tree oh uh, let's see okay the individual hanging off the tree yeah okay hmm Unless you can move it somewhere. Well, it, it has a range of 60 feet, so that's out of the range? Out of the range. Oh, crap. Okay. Out of the because they were working over the other two. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to use my action to try to serotypically work my way to that one on the tree. Give so. me stealth check. Yeah. 
You surreptitious bastard, you. <laughs> 14 for stealth. Uh, yeah, it looks like you're doing okay. Give me a wisdom check. Uh, wisdom 20, not natural. You're pretty sure you know who's attached to that tree. Azari, you're up. <coughs> I will fire on my grung that Dave just bowled over. Uh, 16 to hit. 16 hits. Uh, nine points of piercing damage. Uh, shot through the heart, and you're to blame. It <laughs> dies. There are only two left now. Uh, and, of course, you have once again returned the other human being. Uh, D12 against me there, Ingve. Nine. Uh, four. Okay. Uh, he is going to... Start yelling, hey, that guy, hey, that guy. Oh, no. <laughs> and, and, and eliminates your stealth before breaking into the underbrush. Uh, the two, Rockier. First nat 20 of the night, Rockier. <laughs> uh, give me your con save again. Get some, Rocky. That time I got a 19 for my con save. Four slashing damage is all you're going to take. Uh, Ingve, with your stealth broken, thanks to your yeah friend, uh, one of the grungs jumps up. 17 plus four is 21. Give me your con save, please. Okay. Con. Five damage, or five damage, sorry on the slashing. Oh, go ahead and take max poison eight damage on the poison. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Uh, you absorb every single drop on that blade. Uh, Most likely a last round, Rock here. You still have one on you. I will swing my uh, quarter staff and hopefully not hit Dave. <laughs> uh there's a 14 hit 14 does hit okay uh six bludgeoning damage he's looked better uh dave and ingve um the Raven is going to do another flyby, and on this round, uh, anybody within uh, all my allies, I'm clarifying this, within 60 feet is going to get uh, a total of uh, two extra points of healing. Everybody will get two points of healing. Is that it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Azari, you're up. There's one on Rocky. Wait. Hey. Oh, that's right. You haven't gone yet. <laughs> uh I, I want the one that's not on rock here. I'll close to it and smash it. All right. The blue one. Yep. Sure. Squish! Uh, 18 plus six is 24. And um, I'm mad. D12. Uh, seven plus four is 11 plus two. 13 points. Slashing. Nice. You cut him right in the back, but he is still upright. Uh, Azari. Like, oh, my axe. I will, uh, I guess I'll fire off an arrow at the last one. Well, there's two. Or two. Uh, Rock here has one. Ingve has one. I'll go after Ingve's. Okay. Yeah, fuck Rock here. <laughs> well, he just hit Dave. Dave hit his. I'm, it's fine. <laughs> uh, 19 to hit. Yep. Okay. And he say. Right. Max damage, 11 points of damage. That one is down. The only one left is the green one, and that is on Rock here. And that's going to be in this, Rock here. Uh, your turn for payback. Yeah, I'll swing at him again. That is a 16. Plus. That's a 21, dirty 21. Yep. 
Kirkwood. That's max. That's uh, eight plus three is 11 hit points of bludgeoning damage. Frog-like teeth go flying as the staff of the mighty monk connects in and shatters the creature's jaw, knocking him to the ground. Ingve, as you crawl over, feeling the toxin affecting you, uh, you lift the head of the individual on the tree. Daddy. Seeing that, I uh, collapse to my knees uh, in front of him, and I call the raven one more time, and it's going to come for... Sorry. It's, it's going to arrive and do uh, six more points of healing. So... Give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, perception 14. Uh, he shakes his head and begins to mumble, don't, don't waste, don't. At that moment in time, you notice that his calf is swollen horribly, green, and pus is oozing out of two fang marks. Oh. He has been bitten by a poisonous snake, and the toxin is eating him from the inside out. Ooh, I want to watch this. <laughs> God. <laughs> Move out of the way, Yngwie. Yeah, I got to see your old man. You've had your moment. <laughs> Tell me. Does the pain hurt a lot? He's going to study this. <laughs> and those who don't know, Scott and I worked out this dichotomy. So. <laughs> ten being excruciating. <laughs> What's your pain <laughs> on, a, on a scale of one to five, uh, five being, being very severe. <laughs> I just sucked one year of your life out. <laughs> uh, it is clear that Ingve's father ain't going to make it. Uh, Ingve, as you draw closer to him, he mumbles, uh, coughing, spitting up some kind of mucusy concoction. Uh, your raven is not, however, uh, everybody else gets what'd you say, two hit points? Six points, six, six hit points back. Hey, I'm back to full. So, your dad's going to be a very healthy guy when he dies. The toxin eats yeah, him out from the inside. There's no cure for this, right? There is no cure unless you have an antitoxin. I, I don't have one. So, so and who great. who else suffered toxin? Rakir, Ingve, and Hazari. Uh, you guys are going to be a little bit sluggish, uh, but the toxin is a different toxin. Ingve, your father has been bit by a snake. Uh, not, not been affected be by these things. Uh, as he coughs and spits blood out, Rock here, uh, you notice that there's a large amount of saliva as he tries to talk in halting, gasping tones. Ingve, he tells you how proud he is of you and how you are destined to go on to great things. Uh, he hopes. Saliva. <laughs> <laughs> Hallucination. Patient Ted uh, <laughs> looks to be clingy <laughs> uh, uh, here. <laughs> bullshit rhetoric for children. Okay. Clearly mad with the disease. <laughs> I, yeah. Uh, he is. He is not doing well. Uh, he is glad that you grew up to be the man that you have become, and tells you the others are at the riverbank. The grung. <coughs> Oh. It's a very painful death as his yeah, and are it's... consumed. Uh, and it's very hard to watch except for Rakir, who seems to be taking great very, delight. Yeah. Ingrid, so I can, I can put him out of his misery for you if you want. I mean, you know, he's, he's I he's grab so Rakir. <laughs> I grab Rakir by the neck and I just start moving him in a different direction. Like, you just you see of- Ingve produce flame. <laughs> like, <I'm> like, <laughs> I grab him by the back. I grab Rakir by the back of his Fire neck. Fire burning like, in his eyes. And just, we're and moving he's away. Like, Fuck off. Hey, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I just, you know. It, you know, if you've seen Road to Perdition, Rakir is Jude Law. <laughs> <laughs> and I launched I launch the, 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 Your was gonna the die nearest anyway. grung body yeah, out, of, out of anger and frustration. I'm like, ah! <laughs> uh, give me a con save. 
<laughs> I was so hoping somebody else would do that. Oh man. Okay. Uh con save fifteen. Uh, you got lucky. <laughs> Why, the fumes? Uh no, the touch of the skin is toxic. Oh, okay. I, I cut I cut my father down mm-hmm. and uh using my cloak and I'm carefully wrapping him in the cloak and Dave will walk over and put his hand on Ingve's shoulder and say, Let me carry him. And I I I, I tell Dave Passion. Um, but I I just need a moment. Yeah. So I mean, I sit there at the riverbank with him, cradling him. And it, uh, you aren't to the riverbank yet. Not to the riverbank, yeah. but wherever yeah. we are. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm cradling him, you know, like that Leonardo uh, sculpture, the Pieta, I guess. The Madonna. Pieta. Yeah, yeah, Pieta. And I'm holding him like that. That's what the scene <laughs> looks like. Uh, he begins to expire, but tells you he has faith that you will rescue the others. Coughing, spitting blood, something about boat, something about surprise, something about raiders. Uh, oh, surprise. Dave and Inve, let's see if you can formulate what's going on here. Give me wisdom rolls. Oh, okay. Dave's pretty sure they're in the trees. Nice. <laughs> well, Plus one, so two. We're rolling uh, investigation or perception? Wisdom check. Just wisdom, wisdom check. check. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, ooh, not bad. 23. In the grief, as your tears stream down, wiping away the dirt from the combat that you just ensued, a light bulb goes off above your head, and you think, I bet those cocksuckers were the brigands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there are at least two brigands out there as well. Yeah. Uh, explains the poison. Mm, yeah. Okay. Well, it, you can uh, see the fang marks. Uh, yeah. The, the poison's pretty self evident. Uh, okay. But you should realize, all four of you, there's some nasty shit around here. So care must be given. Ingve, give me a D12. Um, let's see. 11. <laughs> oh, shit. I hate this. High is bad in this, in this campaign. Is that an 81, you said? 81. Yeah, 81, uh, you 81. say? <laughs> 11 excruciating oh, minutes later. <laughs> Your uh. dad... Finally expires and takes I, his I, last I, breath. I, I'm just, I'm just holding <laughs> on to him. <laughs> uh, how much time? Yet? Yeah, he's dead. He <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, is there any of the grung nearby? Just dead ones. I'm gonna <laughs> rub my uh, rub like I'm gonna take the arrowhead and grab it by the feathers, and I'm gonna rub the arrow on it, and I'm gonna nick Rick here. <laughs> Make sure it's the screaming one, the purple one. Yeah, it's the purple one. That actually might one work I, well. I'm going for the one I killed. I'm pretty much pulling out the arrow, the one I killed, and then when it goes, I'm going to walk by Rakir and nick him on the arm. Rakir, give me a con save. Uh, con save. Yep. I mean, uh, it, was a, it was a 17 that time. Ah, oh, God damn it. No effect. <laughs> but I still thought to like, ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, I got, this is fascinating, but okay, okay. I, I Have got care, Rakir. I, right, right. Ingve uh, lays it, raises his head. He's like, Rakir. I got I, real excited. I understand. Sorry. I understand. Just... <laughs> Just not now. <laughs> I just love that it was 11 excruciating minutes. <laughs> yeah, uh, and again, like I said in pregame, all of these roles have been determined. So I already know what happened to Azari's sister. So this was all done uh, uh, before you guys even got your feathers. So, okay. Uh, so after 11 minutes, uh, you see his chest no longer rises and falls. 
Mm-hmm. He is clearly dead. His eyes have gone bloodshot. Carol is freaking out right now watching this uh, <laughs> at the descriptors. She uh, just says you love killing family members in the plague. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the death uh, scene was horrific. Give me a uh, survival check, Ingve. Okay. Nat 20 for 26. Yeah, people die. <laughs> yeah, people die. <laughs> but uh, his final words that he was proud of you echo in your ears. Um, you wipe yes. away the tears. Do you want to bury him? Find water to throw him into because in Bob, That's what we do. unceremoniously throw him in yeah. uh, or what? Uh, uh, as soon right. as Dave sees I, his last breath shed I, around, I, Dave starts going for the river. I, <laughs> yeah. him, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure. I mean, <laughs> is there any spot on this river that's beautiful? I mean, is there a waterfall or anything like that? You got to be get more there beautiful first. after we kill them. Yeah, I'll we'll I'll get them to the water. So. Uh, are you going to have Dave carry him, or are you going to do it? <sighs> We can we'll we'll make a litter with the uh, uh, Dave can just cloak throw him over his shoulder and a couple of branches, and I'll 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 pull him. Uh, okay, Dave leading the charge uh, to the sound of the rushing river that gets louder, louder, and louder. Uh, everybody's seen Raiders of the Lost Ark. One of those brigands is in a tree with darts in him, uh, just leaning up against the tree, dead as Lincoln. The other one is not around. Everybody give me an investigation check, please. Nat 20. That'll give me a um, 18. Uh, Ingve must still be grieving. Seven. Akir and Azari? 16. 16, 16 at least 14. in those natural 20s. 14, right? Okay. Uh, Dave, Rakir, Azari, a uh, strange sight greets you at the riverbed. You notice that there are several dead grun. There are several dead humans. Uh, a quick look around does not reveal that the one that escaped is among the dead. There are also several dead uh, Ba citizens. Good news, Azari, none of them are your sister. Uh, as you look around, uh, who had the high one, Dave? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dave, you notice there is only one boat and it has a hole in it and it is kind of sunk into the water. Everybody can formulate, except for Ingve, who is under PTSD, that apparently there were boats here. Uh, once um, Ingve snaps out of it, he will recall that his father muttered something about that about uh, as he used bloody spittle. Yeah, I I recall. I see Father mentioned a boat. I just can't remember the rest. I will take another investigation check by everybody as well. It's minus two. 14. 16. Uh, 19. Well, 17. 17. Uh, Rakir and Ingve, uh, as you scan for any <clears throat> threats, Across this river, which isn't as wide as the Missouri, but it's kind of close, uh, <laughs> you see a building of some kind, maybe, maybe a mud mm. hut. There's something in the trees across the way. Mm. Um, I called the others and I kind of point towards the structure that I can notice through the trees. Ingve, in answer to your previous question, no, there is no peaceful or serene area. This is more of a fens swamp area. He's going to have to bury in the old-fashioned way. Yeah. Okay. So say your goodbyes and toss dad, and yeah. then the gators come. <laughs> Oh, or I could go Viking style and put them in the boat, but we're probably going to need the boat. <laughs> the boat First, we have to see if we can fix a leak. Yeah. 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 This is the SS Kyle. 
Well, <laughs> shit. SS Kyle. <laughs> ah, Kyle. Well, Dave's uh, pragmatic. He'll start trying to fix the leak in the boat. I'll help yeah. Dave. Yeah. I'll, I'll start taking care of Dad. Actually, uh, no. I'll tell Rakir. Uh, <laughs> And then I will, I will help, I will help Ingve lay his father to rest. I yeah. was so close. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll start with uh, Dave and Rakir. I mean, Rakir is going to want to do an alien art autopsy at this point. You know, <laughs> I'm surprised he doesn't have a grung splayed out and dissected. <laughs> he doesn't have a wax uh, plate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and, and wait, Dave's Dave got one in bag. <laughs> uh, so, Ra- poisonous. <clears throat> so Rakir and Dave uh, eh, you know what how about survival rules we'll do that Ooh. because I don't think we have a carpentry skill no, um, 15 how survival. about an 8 uh, 18 plus 3 21 uh, Rakir and Dave between the two of you you figure out that you can go ahead and take some of the fens uh, wrap them up accordingly and plug the hole in the boat, making it okay. <laughs> uh, Ingve, we don't have any pitch. Uh, not on this side. Ingve uh, yeah. and Azari, uh, what kind of rights do you want to give Ingve's dad? What was your dad's name, by the way? I couldn't find that. Um, I've got a candle. Uh, I had it. Uh, it was. I could have swore it was Bjorn. <laughs> Sorry, we were. I was staying with the whole whole Nordic thing. That's uh, fine. I'll I'll do the uh, headstone later. Uh, yeah. So Azari <laughs> Ingve, you want to uh, uh, you want to put Bjorn on his final journey to hell and back? Yeah. Well. Uh... Barukata. <laughs> <laughs> cross his arms over his chest and <laughs> do the best to try and close the eyes or cover the eyes and mm-hmm. place him into the water and kind of like <laughs> slowly well, we kind of like try and push him out as far as we can. Yeah. Yeah. You, you notice fish life uh, that seem to scatter at your approach. So good news. It doesn't appear to be quippers. Uh, quick look around does not reveal any signs of crocodile alligator. Mm-hmm. Uh so as the body floats down, did you put yeah. him face up or face down? Um, he's wrapped in my cloak, so face up. We got like rocks for ballast to sink him, or I guess you would call it. Or I think you just open him up works. <laughs> Thanks, man. Just, just shove a few rocks in different body spots. Yeah. Couple of rocks in the abdomen. <clears throat> no, I've I've had I've wrapped them in the cloak. Oh. And... Uh, yeah, you, you get out there, cloak. you hear the haunting sound of "Hello, darkness, my old friend." Yeah. and he makes it out. The current takes him from left to right, uh, and he gets into it, and it takes him down, down, down the river, uh, and around a bend. So you can no longer see that he's going to be fished out and tortured. <laughs> and Rakir's down river. He's like, yes. right. with a stick. <laughs> uh, sprinting beside the body. I got, it. Yeah. I got it. Let me spend a key point. <laughs> How do you feel now? How do you feel now? Uh, apologies to Ingve, but your father's dead. Uh, Rakir and Dave. Good news. Uh, the boat is now river worthy. Uh, you have a choice. You can follow the current. And I, I made a mistake. The current goes left. My bad. Current goes left and goes around uh, a bend in the river. Uh, and it flows rather quickly. You can get in the boat, hope that it's uh, river worthy, cross over to where you see the buildings, or are there boats on the opposite uh, shore? Follow Bjorn's. <laughs> follow Bjorn. Are there any boats on the opposite shore? You do not see any. Do we have any way to steer? Does it have any steerage or rudder, anything like that? One oar. Which you could use as a rudder, I guess. Mm-hmm. You can use your staff. Yeah. 
as a yeah, rudder too. as well. <clears throat> now, it's only going to be big enough for the four of you. So clearly, uh, well, everybody give me an intelligence check. <clears throat> oh, 16. Minus Dave 11. feel pretty smart. <laughs> 13. Minus, it was minus two from the 18. 18. It's a uh, dirty one. A dirty <laughs> one. <laughs> Brock here Look. is far too busy writing down the notes of uh, yes. the demise of Bjorn. Uh, the others uh, come to the determination that uh, if they kidnapped 10 people plus two, plus the, the, our, our country member are numbers never in this good. boat. This does not uh, work out correctly. What do you mean? Well, what, what, what's to work out? What? Gray, Gray's Anatomy has a question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Rakir Quincy, MD. <laughs> nice. Um, Dave wants to fan out uh, down river a ways and look for any tracks, like 300 yards. The only tracks Yngwie they can find are of his tears. <laughs> so oh. <laughs> it looks like the Indian when you litter. My eye makeup, <laughs> my eye makeup is actually running. <laughs> oh, that guy's dead now. I mean, time to forget that we're stooges and remember that we're hunters of Ba. Start yeah. hunting. Yeah. Uh, so you want to go down river to the left? Yep. Okay. Uh, as you do, D twelve against me. That's it. Nope, just him. Eleven. One. Uh, you do not find any tracks. Uh, however, you do find, uh, looks like uh, stubs, like somebody was cutting small trees or saplings with an axe. Hmm. So it's just the stumps, but they're high up. And there hmm. are a lot of them. Wow. Hmm. They made a raft. I it would it appear is. so. Yes. Yeah, even Dave knows what that means. Mm -hmm. But if you're in a raft and you have people, then you're probably going down river, not up river. So rafts being notoriously bad at going upstream. Uh, everyone is so smart. God, everyone is great. <laughs> Dave not smart. Dave fallen river before. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's use the boat smart. and take our way. Down river, we can yeah. Gonna have to push a little Rakir. faster with. Oh, sorry. Go we ahead. can push a little faster with the paddles while Rakir can use his staff to steer us a bit. Yeah. Everybody is now third level as midday approaches. Sweep, 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 sweep. Yeah. Dave suddenly feel very good. Level well, up. now you won't get your hit points until you get a long rest in. Right. No, that's not what Dave meant. So you're so you're still on level two hit points. Uh, so uh, you've made your assumptions. You've made your investigation. You do have a boat that you're pretty sure is now uh, travel worthy. The only choice you need to do is go down river in search of some kind of raft or go across the way to what may yield more clues in the form of a possible village. Azari, which way do we go? Let's head down, see if we can run into more people or a village, something. Okay. Down river? Yes. <clears throat> down river. Uh, as you bypass, everybody give me an investigation check. Check. Yeah, 14. Uh, 16. Eight. 16. 16 for me. And you said eight, Rock here? Eight. Uh, Dave, Ingve, Azari. Uh, you're pretty sure you're getting followed on the far side of shore. Um, you can't really tell who or what it is, uh, but every once in a while you just catch that glimpse of something. Uh, and 
five, Azari, uh, there's a little rock in the boat. Uh, you think you may have run over a log. No. Uh, as you continue forward, uh, the river picks up a little bit of intensity, especially in the center. So, uh, who is navigating with the oar and the staff? Okay, Rakir, this is going to be easy. <laughs> Do you want to stay to the far side, stay in the middle that runs faster, or move closer to the shoreline where these three are seeing Bigfoot? Um, I'm going to ask the I'm going to ask the team, <laughs> you guys. Yes. Should I? You think I should stay in the center? Or do you think I should try to work to the other shore or to the shore that we were already on? Uh, center. Okay, I'm going to try to keep it in the center. We're going to go left. <laughs> so. uh, give me a bad survival check, Rock here. Eight. Uh, odd, even. Odd, you go left. Even, you go towards Bigfoot. That's four. <laughs> Bigfoot. In yes. an effort to stay in the middle, you have cut across. Uh, Azari, D12 against me. Okay. Three. One. <laughs> There's that damn log again. <laughs> Just kind of Pumps the boat a little bit. Uh, everybody perception check. 21. 21. Uh, 18. Uh, 13. Uh, Azari, you're looking left, looking right, trying to figure out what the hell you keep hitting. Dave, Rock here, and Ingve. Uh, you notice that the water is being moved uh, in the center much faster and you see dire beavers making a dam uh, both left and right sides. So you are going to have to shoot the gap rack here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Survival check. <laughs> you can do it. You can, you can do it. A little bit better, 14 that time. I'm just mad about 14. Now 20, <laughs> here hits the dire beaver dam, but does not do any damage. Uh, uh, the chittering from the giant beavers uh, is somewhat disturbing as the leader begins to smack his flat tail against it, causing other dire beavers to come out on oh, either geez. side. Oh, geez. <laughs> Give me a survival check to kind of push off away from the beaver dam. It's a 16. You do manage to do it just as the beavers uh, move in attack position. You free yourself, uh, but you are inverted. Uh, <laughs> so everybody who was at the front is now in the back. Everybody in the back is now in the front. And you are kind of doing this. Do you A, uh, say, fuck it, uh, this will be fine. B, uh, try and use the oar to turn yourself around. Or C, stand up and just make a quick position change. Not a big deal. <laughs> First off, everybody roll d20s for order of choice. Can't believe you didn't get killed by the dire beavers. <laughs> 11. You said a 20, right? Straight up 20. Yeah, 11. Seven. Three for Dave. 11 goes first. What do you want to do, A, B, or C, Inve? A, B, or C? Well, A's out because you don't have the or. So right. You can retain your position and say, fuck it, we're fine. That's B or C. You can get up and make a quick shift, uh, hoping that it won't upset the boat. Uh, 
B. <laughs> Stay in put. Fair yeah. enough. 10. Azari. Uh, I'll go for the quick shift. Give it a shot. D20. Okay. Frank's, Frank's smiling. That's not good. <laughs> 19. Uh, quick spin around, and the Leonid character can now see what's coming. Fair okay. enough. Seven, Rakir holding the oar. Rakir, you have your choice, A, B, or C. You can, A, try and spin the boat around. B, uh, do nothing, say, fuck it, I'm having a blast. Or C, do a quick change like Azari did. I'm going to try to push the boat back into the center to get us back. I'm going to try to get us back going. So if I need to push off, to shove off a little bit, I, 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 I spin us right I need to around. spin us. <laughs> I need sure. to spin us. Give me a survival check. I need to spin us. Big money, big money, big money, big money. <laughs> Either way, I win this That's one. A 17. Yeah. That's a 15 plus two, 17. Rock here. Ooh, puts the oar in. Whoop. Azari, you're facing the wrong way. <laughs> uh, hey, Azari, watch our six, eh? Dave, uh, last but not least, uh, what do you want to do now that Rock here is fun? Everything fine. Rock here does nothing. Uh, back to Azari. Uh, do I do anything or just say fuck it? Fuck it. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Sacagawea Azari is just entertaining the troops. As you go on, everybody give me a perception check. Sagajawaja. 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 17. 16. 13. What was yours, Dave? 15. Ingve Azari A. Uh, who sees it first? Even Azari. Uh, you notice pieces of a broken raft on the shoreline, and it is on the far away shoreline, close shoreline. Ingve, there's definitely something moving in the tree line. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I call attention to that. I'm trying not to be loud and alert anybody, but in there, I point. That there is hey definitely guys, hey guys. <laughs> don't want to alarm you, but uh, I see something over there. Let's hear it for Tony Shalhoub at Galaxy Quest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, uh, Ingrid has alerted you that there's something in the tree line. Azari, do you want to alert them to the fact that there's uh, debris? Yeah, we'll say uh, the raft is on the other side. Uh, broken. It looks like a broken raft. But you see people on the other side? Jeez. Investigation check. Because the, the whole sidelines is fens and mossy trees. 20. There's at least uh, one body that you can see and with a 20 you see two bodies. Let's go to the side with the bodies. Rock here, survival check. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. 14 plus two, 16. Yeah, you're getting way better at this. Uh, next roll for survival check, add two. Uh, Rock here expertly guides your craft, the SS Kyle, <laughs> over to the shoreline, uh, and you all notice, thanks to Azari's keen eyesight, there are three bodies uh, stuck in the debris field. Uh, one male, two female. Do you want to beach the boat and investigate further or say, ah, boss says let them drown? Beach the boat and investigate. Rakir, is that what you're going to do? Yes, I'm going to beach the boat. Uh, I have two females, one male. Who wants to go investigate what? Uh, Dave wants to go investigate around the area to see if there's any sign of anybody leaving the crash site, so to speak. Fair enough. Uh, Azar, or Rock here, give me a straight up D20. Let's make sure you know how to beach this boat, please. The only straight thing up D20. One. 
Straight up D20 is a, I thought that was a one, but it was a seven upside down seven. <laughs> uh, you, you don't do a great job, but you're pretty sure you've secured it. Uh, Zari, male or female? Uh, female. One or two, odd or even? Uh, even. Female number two is uh, Ingve. Uh, I guess number one, first body, I guess. Female? Mm -hmm. Female yeah, or the other male? Uh, other male first, yeah. Ingve goes after the male. Uh, Ingve, this is a neighbor. <laughs> okay. No uh, vitals or anything like that, so. Dead as Lincoln. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go here's to have a female. crease in his head. Azari, you check female number two. Uh, you don't recognize this person, and the clothing uh, would indicate this would have been uh, one of the bad guys, the Grubeck, because mm. she has a Grubeckian dagger with her. Oh, I got one Good. of those. Good. <sighs> Do you want the dagger or no? No. Okay. Dave will take it. Dave's busy. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, give me an investigation check. Ooh, ooh, investigation minus two. Uh, 15. Uh, you hear something moving around and it sounds like it's a quadruped. Kind of hungry. I'll continue to look around. Now, remember, this is on the opposite shore of where Ingve saw that you were being pursued. Mm -hmm. uh, keep looking around. Ingve or Rakir, what do you want to do after beaching the boat? I want to. Um, is there anyone else left to look at? Female number one. Yeah, okay, I'll go look at female number one. Odd. Rakir gets there first, even Ingve. If, well, it's cocked. You know what? You both arrive at the same time then. Uh, it is a female. Uh, it is a foreigner. And it does not have a dagger. But you don't recognize this person. So the two females appear to be Grubeckian, perhaps. Mm -hmm. uh, the male was a member of the village people. Uh, I, I want to check the Quebecians <laughs> to see if they have any of these these coins, these these coin things. Total of ten, five apiece, copper. Uh, okay, okay. I'll I'll since no one else seems to think these are valuable, I'm still kind of obsessed with them because they're shiny. Hidden in their boots, three in one boot, two in the other. Total of ten. Uh, Dave. Give me a nature check. Oh, good. That's a 20, so that's an 18. This uh, would be what you'd call one of them their cougars, uh, but instead of a paw print like that, it's got a paw print like that. Oh, kitty. <laughs> okay, I'll head back to the guys. Okay. Uh, you only got one dead to bury this time. The river's close. Yeah. What do you want to do with the two Grubeck females? Leave them. Tell They're not our dead. Feather them. <laughs> if I get... see that dagger, I'll steal it. Uh, give me an investigation check. Ah, uh, that would be a 13. Mm, you probably see it, but let me roll. A four. Yeah, you see it. Ooh, ooh, two Grubeck daggers. Yeah. Uh, that appears to be all that's here. Uh, Dave, I assume, will say that a giant cougar is over here. Big kitty in bushes. I think it's called Stifler's mom. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, maybe I need to go back in bushes. You beat the bush, you get results. <laughs> so... Uh, what do you guys want to do? Uh, huck our countrymen in the water and get on with it. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Rock here, you want to take them home? 
Um, I'm just going to do what everyone else wants me to do. You're taking notes, right, of the dead people, I assume? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Blacker. I'm, oh. I'm, like, trying to maybe sew their <laughs> eyes shut, you know, <laughs> seeing if that works. Wow. Their yeah, we, went, we went dark. Yeah. Uh, give me a medicine became... check. <laughs> Suddenly, suddenly drag Rakir back to the boat. Yes. Suddenly Rakir is practicing for mortuary school. We're all leaving in the boat, but leaving Rakir eight, there. Eight, eight, eight. So I, I'm, I'm making a hash of it. Eyeballs, eyeballs, pop. Oh. oh. And you deflate. Oh. <laughs> As you, you bury the little fish bone in just a smidge oh. too deep. Uh, somewhere oh, curls oh, yelling oh, out, Jesus, oh. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll take it as a you know reminder of of how not to do things so I can right. learn better next time. Fair enough. Uh, it's starting to get a little bit on the dim side. Uh, do you want to get back in the boat uh, and keep going, or kind of make camp here? Let's push a little farther, and then yeah, just camp. a little further. Uh, you keep going. Uh, who's in the front of the boat? Dave, give me an yeah. investigation check. Again with a 20, 18. Nice. There is a uh, circular water pattern uh, up ahead. Whirlpool. It appears you're headed for it. Beach the boat. Beach the boat. Beach the boat. Put us <laughs> on the beach. Give me a survival Rock here. Check. Add two. Yeah, I'll... Try to beach the boat. Uh, that's a 19. Left or right? Right. Towards the follower. Uh, you beach the boat successfully, uh, and you notice that the whirlpool would have caused rather significant damage. So kudos to Dave for spotting that. Uh, as you beach the boat, uh, night is falling, maybe time to make camp. Everybody give me an investigation check. See if you hear something tromping in the moss. Uh, 10. 14. 23. Did what check again? Investigation. 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 Uh, 16. Uh, Dave and Azari, you can hear something moving. Uh, you strain your eyes, but the failing, the uh, dimming of the light, much like Ingve's dad, uh, is preventing you from. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Well, I could have said Rock here's eye puncture victim. <laughs> So I got a lot of choices tonight. Uh, yeah, you got a lot so of material. It. Yeah, so uh, you guys hear something moving around, but you cannot tell if it's what's been following you, something else, whatever. Uh, who wants to make camp, and how do you want to do it? Um, I mean, I'm for setting up camp. Are we going in the tree, hammock? Uh, fuck it, we'll sit on the ground. ground Dave always uses his hammock. Awfully spongy. Yeah, Dave always trees, uses his hammock. hammock. Yeah. Good. Uh, everybody roll D d20. You guys are getting pretty proficient at this. Unless you do a one, you will... 16? Correctly. 11. 18. I was close. Uh, Rock here as you set your hammock and jump into it. <laughs> <laughs> It slides down. You're still up off the ground, but uh, by yay much. But at hey. least no bugs will be crawling on I'm you. I'm all right, guys. I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> As he has that third eye dangling <laughs> off his ear. Uh, do you guys, are you guys going to start a fire? Uh, do you want to do a cold camp? Uh, you know something's out there. We should probably start at least a low fire. Mm -hmm. To keep some to keep things from around, but there's a follower. There's something someone who's following us. So Okay, we can dig like a pit fire or something like that. Should be real easy. This is marshland. Good luck finding a dry, dry wood land. 
Everybody roll D20, see if you can find some dry wood. If only Cup and Coder were here. That's true. I am I am a ranger. Those are things I do. I'll give you advantage on that, Azar. 13. Seven for me. <laughs> 18 for Ingbe. What are we rolling? Just straight 20? Uh, uh, straight 20. 19. 11. Uh, Azari, you aren't having much luck, but Ingve and Dave find enough for a small fire. Uh, which one of you wants to roll the D8? Uh, I guess Ingve. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, seven. Seven, seven hours worth of wood. Nice. So you should be able to get uh, through the night with the small fire. Uh, Azari can set the fire, uh, start it up, be in the ranger. You guys have a low fire in a pit, in a marsh. Uh, it's going to rain tonight. Going to be cloudy, but it's not going to rain tonight. Uh, it's a little bit breezy here alongside the river. Uh, strange frog noises, not like humanoid esque, uh, but standard bullfrog singing, mill, er, light, uh, <laughs> are, are calling out. Yeah, probably copyright infringement there. <laughs> no, you said the wrong brand, so we're good. <laughs> yeah. Every once in a while, you hear a splash, uh, croaking, uh, you know, standard nature shit. Uh, you guys grew up next to Lake Ba, so you're kind of used to this. You don't hear anything out of the ordinary. Who wants first watch? Dave wants first watch. Who wants second watch? Uh, Ingve. Uh, oh, Ricky. Well, that's fine. Ahead. You go, Ingve. All right. Third. Ingve will take second. Third watch. Uh, I'll take last. Yeah. Azari, as sunlight begins to peek through, everybody gets full hit points from their third level advancement. Uh, Azari. <laughs> There's movement, and it's pretty close. You can see the shadows uh, dancing among the trees, uh, and it appears whatever you thought was following you is humanoid in size, uh, but a little bit shorter, possibly elf size, but you guys don't know what elves are, so. Short humanoid. Short humanoid, maybe five, five, two. Okay. Pointy ears. Can't see. So oh, yeah. Shorter than me? Wow. You're going to have to, your choices are as follows uh, pick the boat up, carry it past the whirlpool, uh, reintroduce it to the river, and continue on. Uh, investigate what Azari has spotted, move it around, and possibly kill it. Uh, or just hang out here for a week and enjoy the smoothing or soothing sounds of nature. Catch the follower. Catch this follower. How do you want to catch him? Well, I've got this club. <laughs> club Echo? No. El Kabong. Um... Al Kabong. Great save. Great club. Well, uh, great club. It's only one person, right? It's only one figure. One figure? Um, I can right. talk to them. Dave, you can talk to them. I will move around to flank. Uh, I'll go straight at them. Hey, you! Come here! Subtle. Uh, Azari, which direction are you going? If he's going 12 o'clock, which direction are you going? Uh, I'm going to cut back through the tree line and use the tree line shadows and try and stealth around it. Um, so the 9 o'clock. Uh, Rock here and Ingrid, what do you want to do? Um, I'm going to back there, play up, back, back Dave, support. <laughs> Rock here. I just, I just sent you a message. I'm kind of distracted. Oh lord! <laughs> uh, you, you sent it to the producer. I am DM Frank. 
Oh, well, I that makes to... sense as to why you haven't been responding to any of this. <laughs> yeah. I, I, need to, I need to change it to producer and DM. So that's all. No, I, I'm, I'm actually doing something else entirely that I'll, that I'll, that I'll message. That's fair. Okay. Uh, Dave, you uh, tromping through, I guess, since you're screaming and yelling. Yep. As Straight at him. As as Massive distraction. Stealth check. Okay. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can't imagine what it is. Uh, 24. Oh, yeah. You are just uh, moving tree to tree. Dun, like dun, a cat dun, in the dun, dark. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, Dave, Azari has pointed out to where he thought this thing was. Uh, you're moving through, I assume, with Mr. Axe or well, no, Mr. Club, right? Yeah, I've got the club up. It's it's less threatening than the axe. Uh, you're looking around, but you you see some broken grass, bent over grass. So you know something's been around here. Uh, my stealth check is going to be a 19. Uh, Dave does remember to look up. That's also, good. I am proficient in perception and have danger sense. Anything else you want to do, Superman? I'm not Superman. I'm Spider Dave. <laughs> I'm Spider Dave. <laughs> I, I cannot be surprised like that. Fine. You aren't going to be. Well, you're going to be surprised, but not in the way you think. Uh, Azari, as you uh, move from 9 to 10 to 11 to 12, uh, you are not seeing what you thought. Um, you and Dave kind of pincer move. Uh, Sorry, what the fuck? And there is a bag next to a tree. Rock here, rock here, D12 against me, please. Somebody call Homeland Security. There's an unsupervised. <laughs> I'll do this. Got it. I'll do a search around again for it. <clears throat> well, now there is that sack. Um, okay, I'll check the bag. Okay. Uh, it appears to be some food stuff, some crude cutlery, uh, flint and uh, weapons. I mean, real lowbrow stuff. Ingve, are you reading your messages? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Uh, Dave, are you going to look in the bag or are you going to go ahead and keep searching? Well, I'm going to like poke the bag with my club before I open it, but then I'll open it if it doesn't like do something weird. Dave's in superstitious territory here. Ingve uh, is going to slowly turn around. <laughs> okay. Uh... Wow. <laughs> Just... Wow. Uh, folks at home, you should be happy that you aren't seeing what I'm reading. Uh, oh, come on. They'll see it soon enough. <laughs> What's in bag, Frank? Uh, <laughs> the, the aforementioned uh, flint weapons, mundane at best, uh, some foodstuffs, uh, miscellaneous trinkets, Nothing of uh, serious uh, value. I'll close the bag up and put it inside my bag. Rips it right out of his arm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, that's okay. That's fair, I, Rock here. That is okay. Uh, I didn't want to look at it. Uh, Azari and Dave investigation at disadvantage. Oop, another one of those. Oh, good. Rock here oh, good. investigation at disadvantage as well. Minus two. Well, minus one, sorry. One minus two is minus one, yes. 11. 13. Uh, Azari and Dave, as you kind of, what the, what the fuck are you doing with the bag, dude? I, you know, I'm trying to look at the bag. Uh, <laughs> Rakir. And you notice something. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
And that is what you notice. Uh, so Dave and Azari, okay, the bag's pretty much got jack shit in it. Uh, where do you want to go? Perception okay. check, both of you. Perception. Hmm, that's a different story. 20. 36. Uh, you guys hear some movement inside the uh, interior of this moss covered forest. Hmm. Like. I, I don't understand that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't worry. That, that's, that's, I, I was writing that as you wrote, but that's like an old one. Okay, gotcha. All right, so I'm going to, um, <clears throat> I'm going to, with one deft hand, throw a dagger at okay. the, at the sighting. Yes, at the, at the, and not the dagger, at a dart at the, uh, at the sighting. Sure. Uh, roll to hit. Dave and Azari, what are you doing? So, Heard something moving kind of in the mossy bush. Yep. Um. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Okay. Uh, you know, I've got two of those trusty Grubeck daggers. I'm going to pull one of them out, kind of weigh it in my hand, and fling it at where I think that noise came from. Terrible. Azari, what do you want to do? I'm going to... Uh, take a couple steps back, like about 10 feet back, um, and just pull my bow. If anything, uh, if anything threatening comes out, I'll fire my bow at it. Sure, Dave, uh, roll the hit. There Seven. Goes, there goes one less <laughs> Rubeck dagger into the brush. How yeah, that was, a, that was a three. Oh, actually, that would have been a nine, but still. <laughs> It does startle a rather immense size hare, a, a rabbit, a Welsh rabbit. A uh, bunny. Takes off uh, and it hauls the mail. Azari, you can take a shot at it if you want. No, that's not threatening. That's just a wildlife. Uh, Azari and Dave, you hear Ingve yell out in pain. Oh, well. <sighs> As you spin around, you notice a dart in the side of Ingve's head. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and that's that what you hear. arm is just like that. Uh, clearly, Rakir has thrown a dart at Ingve, and as he moves back like Lincoln, uh, there is another figure that was behind Ingve. Uh, it is, for lack of a better term, a dirty child or teenager uh, holding a flint dagger, looking at Rakir. <laughs> uh, Rakir, what was your damage halved for uh, beer, beer darting, <laughs> tavern darting Ingve in the head? Uh, it, would be, it would be two hit points. It just nicks his ear. Uh, I'm like, son of a bitch. <laughs> now you can wear an earring. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, I, I think I can work with that. Thank, every, thanks, every, Rakir. <laughs> everybody roll wisdom. Ooh. Very good. 20. Dirty. 15. Dave learned not to stop, touch the stove after first time. <laughs> 19 for Ingve. 22. Uh, this kid appears to be wildly confused at what has just tr uh, transitioned over the last 30 or so seconds and is just holding a flint knife. Uh, he is not menacing anyone. He's just kind of like what the fuck are these morons doing? Uh, everybody roll initiative. Oh no. <laughs> Twenty-three, not twenty. Uh, six for Ingve. <clears throat> Fourteen for Dave. Nine. At twenty, go first. 
I'm gonna tell the kid to drop the knife. Do you want an intimidation? Uh, uh, are you gonna intimidate him or just order him? I'm gonna I'm gonna do intimidation. Well, if you're stupid enough to throw a dart at a friend, uh, I'll, I'll give you plus two on your intimidation roll. <laughs> Holy shit, he's shooting at his friends, too. <laughs> I'm like the guy in Bull Durham. I want you to throw, throw, throw the, put it the mascot. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, Bull Durham. <laughs> I don't what's, know where he's going. <laughs> what's your intimidation roll? Uh, 17 with that, with that plus two. Two drops it immediately. Uh, that is his action. Fourteen, Dave. Dave, you're pretty far away because you're chasing bugs. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like the bunny ran away. This kid looks scared, and he dropped the knife. Dave doesn't need to do anything. Uh, Azari, nine. Uh, I will put my bow away and... Uh... Sure, you don't want to shoot rock here and keep this party going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. One more. You got a new skill on track. Now I'll just I'll start uh, walking forward. Uh, and six. Ingve. Um, uh, yeah, I I tell the young man no need to be frightened. I mean, you saw what that idiot did. <laughs> The male teenager speaks in a strange dialect, maybe from Alabama, uh, <laughs> but uh, he can communicate with you and asks you, are you the kidnappers? Are you the kidnappers? Kidnappers? <laughs> Y'all the kidnappers? And uh, I tell him, no, we were actually trying to find them. We have family to save. Persuasion? Okay. Oh, oh, did you say you were trying to save your family? Well, <laughs> uh, no, I didn't say my family. I said we have family to save. Referring to Azari's sister. So. Wow. So let's see. You know I'm going to throw that at him every chance I get. <laughs> yeah, you are. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> uh, if only he had neutralized poison. Oh, man. 16. Greater restoration. He looks at you guys. I too, uh, I too, y'all, am on a hunt for my family. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I ask him, what is your name? His name is Peck Peck. Peck Peck. Peck Peck. Peck Peck. He, he is, I, I from Mita. Mita. Okay. Uh, yes. I've heard of Mita. Mita. You might have heard of it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he uh, picks up the dart and can't make up his mind who he wants to hand it to. <laughs> I'll take it from him. <laughs> thank you. Thank I'm from Mita. I, uh, I am a hunter. I will help. Everybody, uh, wisdom. Okay. Uh, no, you know what? Insight. Insight. I'm sorry. Okay. God damn it, Frank. 22. <laughs> Eight. 21. 14. Uh, Ingve, you really can't tell. Uh, Rakir, you're upset that he didn't die so that you could perform an autopsy on him. Azari and Dave... He's a little young. You aren't, you aren't sure. He's right on the cusp of being stupid brave, stupid strong, uh, or honorable. Just stupid. Yeah. He, 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 you know, he seems, he seems truly intent on revenge. Come, little hunter. We will hunt together. I, I I look to Zari as just like I can kind of sense your concern about this. We've had stupider people in our party. Zari, the one that just pet. volunteered. <laughs> no, I don't mean Dave. I'm talking about Doff. <laughs> so true. 
So, I mean, he, he, he's definitely better than Doff. <laughs> so, Zari, any concerns? He's a child. He is a child. He I am a, a man of my people. Are your people all children? <laughs> I was about to say. The, the, the producer says, well, that's just rude. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I should have named him Rubio. Yeah. <laughs> or either this or it's a Thunderdome yeah. situation. Uh, you know. Uh, I I am a man. I alone survived the kidnapping of my people. Um, And uh, that will be insightful enough to be okay. That gives them one point for him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. You survived but did not fight? I was hunting. Um, I don't believe he was hunting. I was. I think he was. I think he was uh, probably asleep, or he ran away. Um, in, in insight. Okay. Everybody. That's a twenty. Uh, seventeen for Ingbe. Seventeen for Dave. Inside? Yep. Uh, 13. Rakir, you're wondering what he'd look like dead. Uh, <laughs> Dave, Ingve, and Azari. Smaller eyes. Yeah, well, you got two. <laughs> yep. uh, yeah, you're pretty sure he's telling the truth, strangely enough. <laughs> Dave he is, takes he is defiant. Dave takes the bag that he put in his bag out and hands it to him. Thank y'all. Um, I tell him how how large was the group from your village or that we're taking. I I am missing all eight of my kinsmen. All eight. How many others were there included in that number? Eight plus? Me. Plus, okay. <laughs> nice. So that brings the total to that. Oh, golly, was your sister wife in there? <laughs> oh. <laughs> My sister wife, Honey Boo Boo, was in the group. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh. hey, Peck Peck does not find you that humorous. Yeah. I... I will go with or without you because I know where they were going. Obviously. That was my question. Do you know which direction they came from? Or or sorry, which direction they they, they left in? Yes. Were you the one following us on the river? Yes. Duh. <laughs> He's Jack Nicholson. He's just going to ask the third question, Rock here. <laughs> yeah. Were they going the same way when they left? Yes. Can we chase the bad guys now? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> then lead the way, Peck Peck. You will lead the hunt then. Follow me. I will lead us to victory, my friends. <laughs> but bring boat. Okay. Uh, he, he wants to walk along the shoreline. All right. Dave, we can grab the okay. boat. We'll both grab it into the boat. And... <laughs> <laughs> There's copyright infringement. Uh, so turning around for directions. <laughs> <That's what it's laughs> like. It was totally are, under seven seconds. You guys are you're going. Uh, the ground does not change that much. It's still mushy. Uh, the mosquitoes are starting to take effect. Uh, you guys are smacking. Uh, Peck Peck will actually put up his fist to tell you to stop and wait as a colorful snake crosses the path and goes into the river. He waits a few seconds. We can continue. You don't want bit by that. 
do you know what happens to somebody when they get bit by that? <laughs> it is a horrible, slow death where your At least ears are minutes. eaten and you're, you just spit blood. It is a horribly painful death. Make yeah. sure you <laughs> tell that to a chair. <laughs> Rock Takes day. longer than 11 minutes. <laughs> uh, you guys travel for what appears to be a long time, uh, several hours, in fact. Uh, every once in a while, you will see a large bunny rabbits with fangs running along the tree line. Uh, you'll see uh, moss covered antlers of deer. <coughs> every once in a while, you will see smaller game badgers and things of that nature. Uh, but about mid-afternoon, uh, he's tired, and he wants to stop for uh, lunch. Okay. Also, uh, Dave and Azari, give me strength checks to see if uh, that damn boat's heavy. 23. Uh 13. Yeah, it's getting a little heavy, Azari. You could use a break, too. Short rest. Yeah. Uh, creatures out here uh, are good to eat. I am going to go into the tree line and find us some lunch because I am a hunter. Uh, anybody else want to go with them? Yeah. Good. Uh, he is very adept at being quiet. Uh, as he moves through the high reeds, you see the move, uh, but it's almost like he can sense where the water puddles are and manage to avoid it. Dave, stealth check. Let's see how good you are as you tromp through. Slosh, Six, slosh, 16 slosh. plus 4 is 20. You follow in his footsteps, and sure enough, you guys are moving silently. He again puts his fist up. Uh, give me a perception check, Dave. Uh, that's a 20. Uh, you see a pig. Wild pig. Mm. He uh, tells you to go left. He's going to go right. How far uh, away is this wild pig? About 20 feet. Um, I'll take about two steps left and put a javelin in it. We'll see. Uh, Rakir, Ingve, and Azari, give me perception checks. Uh, 18. <sighs> 18 for me as well. Azari? 13. Uh, Azari, you see some debris floating down the river. Rakir and Ingve. Uh, looks like one of those female bodies broke loose and is Ingve's dad knit down. <laughs> when you were saying we kept hitting a bump in a boat, rolling, like, motherfucker, rolling. <laughs> uh, but Rakir and Ingve, you also notice that as the body bobs and weaves, it's in a bloated fashion, and then. Whoop, uh, disappears from sight. Uh, Dave, did you hit it? Well, I'm going to roll and find out, Frank. Now 20. <laughs> yeah, does a 26 hit? Yep, sure does. How much damage? Um, it's going to be... It's a javelin, so it's going to be 2d6 plus 4. Uh, 6 and 1 is 7 plus 4 is 11 points. You not only pierce the hide of this uh, little wild pig, you manage to staple it into a tree uh, as it gives its a death squeal, not like Ingve's dad. Uh, Son of a bitch. <laughs> you, you look over with a giant grin on your face and you see Peck Peck doing this. Then you hear a loud noise. Yes, the boar is here. The mama is here. Roll yes. initiative. Fuck yeah. 19. Yeah, a pair of sixes. Uh, okay, mama boar ain't happy. Good. 
What you want to do? Um, rage. Sure. And attack. Okay. Great axe. Uh, that's a 13 plus 6 is a 19 to hit. That hits. That'll be a D12 of um, slashing damage. Uh, that's 11. Um, that's going to be plus uh, 4 for strength and 2 for rage is 17. And on top of that is going to be suddenly a flash of radiant light as 6 points of radiant damage slams into the boar's body. Well, you and Dave off. cries, Squish! It is going to go after odd Dave even Peck Peck. Four. Peck Peck. <laughs> uh, Peck Peck is green. The boar is cola colored. Uh, Peck Peck does hit it. Nats 20 by the yes, boar. Peck Peck. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Bye, Peck Peck. Oops, oops, right. Uh, three more damage to the giant boar. However, you see the boar slam into Peck Peck, who goes airborne backwards because uh, he didn't make his strength check. And good, we're going this to the murder mine. hobos. Oh, no. There's one murder hobo and a three. A nine. Peck Peck is unconscious. Poor Peck Peck. Uh, because he also suffered damage from knocking his noggin on the tree. Round two, Rakir Ingve Azari. Give me perception check. Yeah, because no way they heard Dave. Yeah, no way. No. <laughs> 15. 13. Uh, Rakir, you are pondering the bloated body's buoyancy and why it sank while Ingve <laughs> and Azari Dave's yelling about something again. Yep. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Well, we should at least go see what uh, yeah. Dave is killing. I can't yeah. wait till fifth uh, till fifth level when I can have my battle cry be squish squish. We'll go. We'll go look at uh, whatever. Go find Dave's squishing. Yeah, I'm gonna guard the camp. Yeah, right here. Wait, wait for more bodies to pass by. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fashion, fashion a net of some kind. Uh, Dave, round two begins with you. Uh, that's a seventeen plus six is a twenty-three to hit easily. It's a giant board. The first magical. time that, yeah, no, uh, that's uh, 12 plus 4 plus 2. That's 18 plus uh, 3 <laughs> radiant. Squish. Uh, the giant boar turns its efforts towards you. Come get some, piggy. Uh, 19 plus 3, 22. That hits. Murder hobo. Six and five, 11 uh, plus two, 13 hit points as it slams into seven. you. Do a uh, strength check for me, please. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a 20. Uh, you take the glancing blow, but are not uh, affected by being prone. Ingrid oh, yeah! Azari, uh, go ahead and roll initiative. 21. 17. Uh, Zari, uh, you can see Dave is wrestling with some giant pig. Peck Peck is nowhere to be seen. Oh, no. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll look around for Peck Peck. Uh, high grass. Uh, it's going to have to be a really high investigation. That is not what I do. Uh, that's an 11. Ingve, what do you want to do? Uh, yeah. uh, search for Peck Peck, too. He's a little alarmed that there's no sign of the boy with uh, Dave. 
investigation. Okay. Uh, 15. Nope. Uh, Rock here, do 12 against me. Where the gross shit's happening? <laughs> Where the gross shit is happening? <laughs> uh, here comes another body. Oh, man. Boy, this is just... Uh, it's uh, male. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, I quickly look for, like, rope or something like that that I could try to snag it or snare it. Maybe a vine. Um, anything like that. Sure. Uh, the boy had a coil of uh, hemp. Okay, I grab it and I fashion a quick lasso and try to snag it. Hit it. Rakir Mengala. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that. As I was walking with Ingve, it's like, Ingve, Rakir has grown 15. strange. I kind of noticed. <laughs> How could I not? Uh, you lasso, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. You lasso the head. <laughs> this part. So you hit the head. The body is still floating down river. What do you want to do? Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm losing all every now and then my, 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 uh, um, um, connection isn't that great. Uh, sure. I'm going to uh, try to. I'm going to try to pull them in, so I can take a look at them. Straight up D twenty. Twelve on the straight up D twenty. Uh, you start to drag it forward, but this crocodile, rather large crocodile, comes up and tears off one of the legs. Uh, because the body is bloated and quickly submerges again, you manage to bring forward uh, the rest of the body. Uh, it's already dead, so there's no heart pumping. Uh, you manage to drag it up on there. Uh, Dave, let's see if you can finish off Mama Bear. Uh, let's see, 16, 22 to hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a measly uh, 10 points of slashing and five points of radiant. Only had three hit points left. Uh, Ingve and Azari, straight up D20. High roll finds the kid. Natural 20. 11. Ingve, you find the child in a patch of weeds. Go ahead and medicine check that. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, no, no. Let's see. Twenty again. That's poison ivy. Oh, that the boys laying in. Yep. <sighs> okay. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna Yay. try to fish him out of there somehow. <laughs> Straight up D twenty. Okay. Uh, sixteen. Yeah, you, you grab him by the the scruff tu tu tunic and yank him out of there. Okay. Uh, He's bleeding. He's got a lot of blood pouring down his uh, head. He's got a wound in the back. Uh, he has a lot of bludgeoning damage in the chest. Okay. Uh, immediately, I start uh, I start healing him with uh, healing word. Turning me. <laughs> not uh, yet. Here. <laughs> Dave, it's not uh, his time. <laughs> nine Dave, nine points of healing for him. Sure, he's he's up and around. Dave, you've killed the boar. What do you want to do? Well, you know, that's kind of big. So I'm going to go over and grab the piglet with my javelin in it and take it over, throw that over my shoulder and walk over and goes, hey, guys, I got dinner. More over there. <laughs> uh, Azari, what do you want to do? Uh, I guess I'll go unspear the smaller boar. No, that's what he just said. Yeah, I'll, I'll get the, uh, I'll, I guess I'll start dragging over the mama boar. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to field dress it first, and then, yeah. Uh, it's a wee be, tiny pig. Just because <laughs> I'm an asshole tonight. 
Four other small piglets observe you dissecting mama uh, and take off into the underbrush. Uh, you fucking cannibals. Good. <laughs> uh, they will have their revenge at a later date. They will uh, learn in- not to trust hunters. Ingve, after uh, g- giving uh, Peck Peck a healing, uh, he thanks you profusely as Dave comes over, giant smile on his face, little pig over his shoulder. <laughs> Dave, Peck Peck looks at you and goes, I will cut off your groin if you ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny little man. <laughs> Insight check. 16. This little bastard's telling the truth. <laughs> he will Dave still him. thinks he's funny. Yeah, he It'd be f- best if you sleep with one eye open. Clutching <laughs> <laughs> my pillow with- tight. <laughs> He's going to fucking cut you. Uh, what is this prison? <laughs> that's right. He, he's going to shank you. Knows how to turn Dave on. Uh, with that information, uh, I think this is an excellent time to stop. Uh, Jesse, what'd you think? It was good. I didn't know where this water feature was going to end up taking us. <laughs> That was that. That part made me a little nervous once we hit the water feature. That's uh, yeah. that's yeah. usually a sign of fear in my Especially mind. Especially if Frank makes the water feature. Yes. <laughs> hey, rock here. Dice given, dice taken away, baby. Right. Uh, Dave, what'd you think? David, what'd you think? David. Yeah, Frank. Thanks for killing my father. <laughs> so. You know, you did it weeks know- ago. I've known for like a month and a half. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's, uh, that's the thing. You know. When do you find out what happened to Jesse's sister? <laughs> Modeling oh, contract, man. New York. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, it was it was great. It gave me gave me some something to really grow with with um, Ingve as far as his character because I've been wondering where to go with him. So this this kind of well, Annie. <laughs> now you've got it. Now you've got it. Summer coming out <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, nice. It's your bottom dollar, Scott. What'd you think? Oh, it's it's good. I I, I hadn't I hadn't thought about where I was going to go with uh, with uh, you know with um, um, a Rakir, but looking. I think at, this you know, is interesting. Scott. Yeah, and it's not it's not like a bad thing, but you know it, it's. Just a, just an obsession with the mechanics of death and how that mm-hmm. works. You know, this is this is something that's way of the long death in honor of you know Ingve's you know father. You know, the long excruciating <laughs> eleven minute death. I, I decided to go ahead. <laughs> oh, the dice give it the Oh, the dice that was go. awful. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, and we get yeah, back that, to that camp. Really, really inspired him to say, "Wow, it's taking a." <laughs> We've got shit to do. This out. You, yeah. you should have already gone a long time ago, man. But uh, uh, no, that's it's good. It's good. Uh, uh, it's just just a lot of fun. It's a lot. Of fun. Yeah. In the word, in the words of Deadpool, I think you're from the DC universe. You're so <laughs> <laughs> uh, finally, Rob. What'd you think? Well, I, I, I just want to say I'm sorry, David, but when your father was dying, I had to strongly resist the urge to have Dave just lean against the tree playing jaw harp the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow. Um, oh, I had a lot man. of fun. I got to hit a lot of things, um, and I kind of needed that today, so it was great. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to give each one of you an option on your character. So uh, I got two of you today. I'll get two of you next time. So uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the Calamity Edition. We hope you had a good time. Uh, Don't forget, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D in general, join our Discord. Uh, Most importantly, if you want to be on the talk show on Tuesdays or the one shot every other Saturday, this coming Saturday, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. Uh, hit us up. We will get you on. Like I said, I think two, possibly more uh, first time hobos uh, are coming up. Uh, thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for dice that don't suck and <laughs> had a surprisingly large amount of kill shots tonight, uh, yeah. <laughs> which was a plus. 
this game didn't stink, even though the environment does, but check out Adventure Sense uh, from oddfishgames.com. They have a plethora of scents that uh, will come in handy. I recommend yes. Blooming Prairies. Blooming Prairie is nice. Uh-huh. Uh, nice. Mage's Shop, things of that nature. Um don't forget they also have the shine system so if you want to learn how to write gooder uh check that out and they also have kickstarter coming out soon uh a week from tuesday you don't want to miss that between the rolls that's all i'm saying folks thanks for joining us don't forget we have the frank slash margu slash tri-generational game tomorrow uh they are trying to get through corpus keep and find a jewel before their geese gaze quest expires uh tune in about 4 15 tomorrow for those guys uh, for all of us here at murder hobo inc thanks for joining us let's give them the big dating game kiss and wave uh, thanks everybody see you later